Hello YouTube, uh, this is my first video on tutorials in calculus. Uh, this is AP Calculus BC question 1 from the 2008 AP test. And we're just going to go over how to do uh, the question. So basically they're the area between the two curves. The first color Y is the sine of pi X which is shown on the graph and the green is X cubed minus 4X. So what the AP test is asking for the first part, which is the area of R, R is in between the two curves. So you're asked to find the area between the two curves, which is in this case the shaded region that I put in highlighter, uh, between those curves. So to calculate that, you're going to have to integrate. So by using integration, uh, that's a 2 there by the way. So our limits of integration are 0 to 2 because we integrate from right to left and we take the top function minus the bottom function to find the area between the two curves so the top function is sine of pi x minus wow I don't have space so minus I'll see if I can fit this x cubed minus 4x and don't forget your dx and that parenthesis is here because if you were to evaluate this um, using antiderivative rules you would have to distribute the negative depending on how you evaluate it. If you type this into your calculator a simple way to do this would be have your y1 be the first uh, function so the green y so let's just do a calculator version real quick uh, this would be your y1 and then you would subtract that from the green y so this would be your y2 and subtract the 2 and you would integrate make sure you have your dx yeah. 0 to 2 and you would get a pretty nice number 4 so remember this is area so this is just a side note, this is not on the AP test, but to make you understand the concept better, if you have, remember area is in what units? It's square units, so you would have units squared. Uh, sorry for the poor quality, this is my first video, but other than that, that's how you find the area between the two curves. So now we're going to move on to the next slide. So part B asks, um, it says that the horizontal line, which is y equals negative 2, so why don't we draw that right here, y equals negative 2, uh, splits the region R into two parts. It says write an integral, but do not evaluate the expression for the area between the two curves. So that's basically, let's uh, use blue highlighter, or, yeah, blue and basically it's asking for the area between the red curve and the green curve in this case y equals negative 2 and y equals x cubed minus 4x so moving on over here how would you do that well since it's only asking for the area um, only the integral sorry you do not need to evaluate it but you need to know where the points of intersection are so the points of intersection here you're looking for what those coordinates are and what those coordinates are. So to find these points on your calculator you would just do second calculate intersect if you have the TI 84 plus um, then you would find that this is video just pause for a second uh, I was talking about these are the X coordinates so you're for the limits of integration so uh, when you want to find the area between y equals negative 2 and the function below it, you have to subtract from the upper function minus the lower function. And these two intersection points are your coordinates of, are your um, limits of integration, so that would be your a to b integral. And from here, you would do, like we said, the top function, which is y equals negative 2, minus the bottom function, which is x cubed minus 4x dx guys remember the dx it's very important so once you do that that's all the question was asking for 
since we didn't have to evaluate it, so AP test, I guess, was being nice, but I guess it's difficult to say that. Uh, moving on to C. To make this simple, uh, basically, I'll just explain it that there's a cross section, and we know a cross se section is like taking a karate chop to the graph if it was on a 3D uh, plane, and this would be like the slice that you're looking at. It's saying it's a square. My square is not perfect, but the, we know that the area of a square is side squared. So, um, to figure out the what the sides are of the function, you could graph it, but for the sake of time, I actually have to be somewhere soon, so I got to go. But other than that, um, you would just take the integral um, from this is not including the y minus 2 part, so we're just going to go back to the original uh, a to b. So that was 0 and 2. And you would do the same thing. You would do sine of pi x minus the second function. And this is, again, top minus bottom. But here, the key difference is that we're using the formula. So the formula for solving for a simple square is side squared, so that's why we have to square the entire um, the stuff we're working with. So always remember your dx. Cool. So that's basically your length. This is your width, and you're squaring it. Because um, it's the difference to change in because the square always changes in height and in length and width, so this is why we are or integrating, and there's, yeah, it's just from 0 to 2, sorry I'm rambling, so if you punch that in your calculator, you would get 9.978, sorry my handwriting's poor because I'm using my finger, I am working on getting a stylus soon, alright, so last part is D, and this is the region R models the surface of a small pond at the points in R at a distance x from the y-axis. The depth of the water is given by the function h of x equals 3 minus x. So find the volume of water in the pond. So if we want to find the volume, we would just take the region R, which was what the graph looked like back here. So it's just the region R times the depth of the pond, which was given to be h of x. So then you would just multiply the two together, and you would get times 3 minus x. And remember, you're integrating, so keep your dx there. And again, punch that in your calculator, and you'd get 8.370. Oh, zero. Approximately. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped for those of you studying for your AP tests. Um, I'll try to start posting more and more videos. Um, and I, this, I guess, is Mr. Clean signing off.